you giving daddy his tools? Go. Good job, baby. I'm the cousin of the bride, and this is my first drink of the night. <laughs> I think I like this little boy. Wait, well, look at that. Excuse me, could you please record me for just a second? Yeah, sure. Stood on my front porch and I got that. Let me see. That's the solar eclipse. Yeah, yeah. No, is that? So you got the solar eclipse from home? Let me see the picture, mom. If you look, you see the ring if you really come in. Yeah, you can also see the light pole. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a light pole, mom. I know, but, but that's during the day, so it's behind the clouds. But when I was looking mom, at it, that I is a street light. Go ahead. Would you like me to give you a reading of your future? Yes, please. You're gonna live in a house of cheese in two years. Okay. Will I meet the My Lord? crystal ball. Tells can, me everything. Can your crystal ball please tell you if there will be a love interest in my life? <gasps> You'll be alone forever. <laughs> Take the blindfold off. Marianne, if people want us to recreate that, um, the dance in the kitchen. No, Ty. <laughs> And I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like They left without me! They do this every year! What? Doesn't anyone love me? Isn't there anyone who cares about shit this love? <laughs> cook! Let him cook now! Let him cook! I said let him cook! My mother is officially one of my best friends on Snapchat. She sure is, sweetie. And it's going to stay that way for as long as we both have a snap. Chat. <laughs> I like to say snap because it's cool and hip and trendy. We like to abbreviate, don't we, sweetie?
Now snap me back and keep the streak alive, okay? And whoever Jessica is at the top, yeah, I'm on top, always. So she's going down. Okay, snap me back. Grayson. Grayson. Snap me back. Well, made out of the friend zone. Now we're not even friends. On the count of three. No, you can't do it yet. You have to wait. Okay, ready? On the count of three, we're going to take our picture. One, two, three. Cheese. Cheese. Uh, one more cheese. I think we got one. Do you want daddy to throw you in the water? Okay, daddy throw you in so. Go on in, go! <laughs> How do y'all say that shit? Miss the Bucci? Miss the Bucci. Windshield. Hey, no worries, buddy. Yeah. Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> Turn that off. What did you do? Um. So I was trying to get a pencil. Why is my drawer on the ground? Um, when I pulled it out, it fell. All I did was pull it a little bit and then it completely collapsed. So why did you leave it on the ground? I, I could not put it back. Why? I, it just did not go back in. <laughs> well, do it now. You don't deserve my water. Put it down. <laughs> my drawer back. <laughs> you gotta get the wheels above the oh my god really can you just help me <laughs> <laughs> You know why I pulled you over? Because I'm black? Yeah. No, no. Your wife fell out of the car about a mile back. <laughs> I wonder it was so quiet. All right, and then can I also have barbecue sauce? Or do you have like the buffalo sauce? No Chick-fil-A sauce? Just getting your cardio in, little steps. That's my little crew. What was that? It was that lady. I don't know, she was just saying hi. We go. I'm telling mommy you said hi to her. I was just saying. I'm telling mommy. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey. Hello. How's your day? Hi. How's it going? Let's go. How's it going? Hi. Hey, how's it going? I wasn't even talking like that. Hey, how's it going? It's called being polite hey, and being how's kind. Going? You guys should try it sometimes. Hey, how's it going? Can I have some? Hurry up and go. Apparently I can't hi I can't even say hi to other females. Like granddad's hat, Nan. No, I don't. He's a bloody twat. <laughs> <laughs> <Take that> off. <laughs> can you can you rate your meal from one to ten? So on a scale of one to ten, what do you give the chicken nuggets? <laughs> what do you give the chicken nuggets? A 10? They're, they're that good? What about the pasta, the butter pasta? 10 2. 10 2. Nice. I, I was just saying 10. What is 10 also. All right. And, and what about the ketchup? Ketchup. What? 10 also. 10 all. Everything's a 10 out of 10. Okay. So the texture is. Of... It's okay. The texture of what? The pasta. Mm -hmm. It's like. So, last time, <laughs> um, it was much harder inside 
But do you see it now? Yeah. That's like, what's this? Or, uh, or. Uh. Come on, Spoon, I need you. Hurry up, come on. I need you. I got you. You got me. Yeah. I need you to take care of that problem right there. It's too big. It's too big, it's too you gonna, you gonna hit it? Get back, get back, get back. Okay, don't miss it. Don't get back. Get back. Hurry up, fully jump. He that leg moving, I see. You see that leg moving? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to shift him like a... Handle it like a man, Spooter. You got this. I got it. What are you doing? Aw, oh, look at it. It's a little unicorn. Fairness month. I'm actually already aware of autism. And you're never going to guess how. I just got back from getting my hair cut. This is what I was going for. This was my hair two months ago. And this is me before I went into the barber shop. You know, look, big smile on my face. Hair covering up my receding hairline. And this is my hair now. What is that? What is that? I think he didn't like me. I think he didn't like me. I'm trying to cover my receding hairline, not reveal it. I paid 40 bucks to look like Humpty Dumpty. Oh, Jesus, God. Am I going to be like that all day? Am I going to be like that all day? Am I? <laughs> I need a refund. <laughs> oh, Lord. My feet are off the ground. I don't know where I die. If you can make me mad using one word, I'll do whatever you want. You're ugly. I said to use one word. Yeah, okay, ugly. Not working. Ugly's not even a, that's not a, that's not gonna be a word that gets me upset. You have any other words that might get me upset? What? Do you have any other words that might get me upset? Like one word to get me upset. What? Do you have a word that you think will make me upset? That way I can do whatever you want because it seems like that would be exciting for you. What? I think I'm making myself very clear. I don't think I'm not speaking English well for what? you to understand. What? What do you mean what? What do you mean what? If you can make me mad with one word, then I'll do whatever you want. Take these beautiful things that This is my idea of a very nice day out. I was talking to this guy and he was like, I travel for work and I found out he's a DoorDash driver. <laughs> if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <laughs> that is potentially the best egg I have ever Oh, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Yes, do you? Do, yes, do you have a question? <laughs> oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. Show me your completely useless secret talent. Spin your fingers in opposite directions. And what you're all doing right now is you're doing this. That's the same direction. Okay, this is the same direction. What I want you to do is spin your fingers in opposite directions like that. What's this? Lunchables have lead in them. What? Oh my God, Lunchables have lead in them? They got 74% of the maximum allowable dose? We have maximum allowable doses of lead? Oh no, that's a California because there is no, 
There is no federal limit. So you can just put, there's no federal limit to how much land you can put in a Lunchable? In 3.2 ounces of a turkey and cheddar, they got 74% of all the lead you need. What about the little pizzas? 73% for pepperoni pizza Lunchables? Are they serving them out of Stanley Cups? What's happening here? My God, this is just like, this is just like the little squeezy applesauces with the cinnamon. Because the cinnamon, they were using lead instead of actual cinnamon. And kids were getting brain poisoning because the applesauce had lead in it because it was cheaper to put lead in it than cinnamon. I feel like, I feel like there should be, I feel like we should ban lead in Lunchables. Nana's trying on her new wig, so be encouraging. She's trying on wings? Yeah. That's good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't believe I like that. You know, you look like Willie Nelson. <laughs> no, honey, we got to get a girl. Huh? And then I, and then I match it, and then I go, huh? Whoa! <laughs> You can lift this wood. I just made an evite for my daughter's first birthday party. And on evite it says import contacts. And I thought it meant import to select through. No. It imported all 487 of my contacts and invited them to this birthday party. Not only did it invite my boss, all of my coworkers, all of the people that have ever been stored in my phone, but it sent an invitation based off of how they are stored in my phone. And I want you to just take a second and think about everyone stored in your phone and how they're stored in your phone. And then imagine them receiving an invitation. Derek Eyroll, he received an invitation. Um, Jess hit her car in parking lot. Anyways, I have to quit or get a new identity. I, I don't even know. When I say, you say. When I say, you say. Not gonna say Babe, it. Say, this we is a once in a lifetime public. Why would I say it? Babe, no, Babe, I'm not just, going to. Just Peter, the horse is here. We're cops. Of course we serve and protect. Yo, you gotta say it, man. I told you I'm not saying that shit, bro. Is it just me or does it smell like wrong dog in here? Is it just me or does it smell like wrong dog? Hey, can I get a shot? Yeah, of course. Actually, can you make it a double? Oh, yeah. What episode are you on today? Meredith just realized it's George. Just here. And see, that comes from sitting up there pulling on that mother. Nah. Hey. 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 And see, that finger there got that. This is my impression of a mouse leaving his house. Phone. Wallet. <coughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we should be arriving at your destination in two hours and seven minutes. A challenge. No, uh, it's just how long it takes to get there. You mean that's how long it takes 
regular old Joe Schmo to get there. Joe Schmo? I don't know what that is. Yeah, like a normal guy. It's not as fast as I am. It's actually just the time it'll take for you to get there if you drive the speed limit. Did I ever tell you my middle name? I don't believe so. Well, it's speed. I'm gonna get out, actually. What are you doing? You move a muscle right now and I give you the old Apple Maps treatment. Oh, God! You used to use Apple Maps? Yeah, no, not my... Not my best moment. What is wrong with you? Remind me that number one more time, would you, old Two hours and seven minutes. <laughs> I'll, I could probably shave three minutes off that. Three minutes! Three minutes! I give a damn for my reputation. My team the best, let's catch I'm a double. If you see us, best believe you in trouble. If that boy play get popped like a bubble. I see you in public, I greet you like What's up, brother? You can get on my level. Got on red diamonds, don't dance with the devil. My phone on the left and the right is my metal. Whenever you call my voice, smell gonna tell you. Bro, why they let the minion name the brand? Papa Tui. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they have the impression doll here. Oh my god, it's the impression robot. Oh uh, yeah, what impression do you want me to do? Do Um, do Britney Spears. Beep, boop, 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 boop. I think I did it again. I made you believe. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, next. Um, do Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian? Yeah. Okay. Kim Kardashian activated. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kim. I absolutely think this is so iconic. Next! Um, do, do Nicki Minaj. <laughs> oh my. Hey yo, it's Nicki. Oh. Hey yo, it's Nicki Minaj. Hey yo! Oh! oh. Next! Um, oh, I bet you can't do Shakira. Shakira? <laughs> Get my hips activated. Lole, lole, lole. Lole, lole, lole. Whenever, whenever we're meant to be together, I'll be there and you'll be here. Oh my god. <laughs> Explain to me what this is. Oh, that's my urn. That's your urn? Yeah, that's keeps my urn. In the I, I wanted to make sure she keeps it that in I kitchen. spent eternity or something that I liked. Yeah. So I bought my own urn. It's, it's got, got palm trees. Yeah. It's I'm got proud of it. Trees. And I keep it in the kitchen. I don't want the kids to forget that I belong in here. And you drink your coffee in the morning and stare at that thing? Oh, yeah, because oh, I yeah. yearn for the urn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is the rarest thing. You yearn. Well, yearns for her. Now. I'm 85, pushing 86 hard. I can't see. I can't hear. Mm -hmm. I can't walk. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So the urn sounds like a good alternative. Well, it's beautiful. It is. It is. And I picked it out, and it's mine. Mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> Six? <laughs> Did you expect that? <laughs> Is there anything else you noticed? <laughs> what else did you notice? <laughs> what? <laughs> Take a bite. Is there mustard? <laughs> well, yeah, but not that. Something else. What? <laughs> 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 I'm being gang stalked by the CIA. They put a chip in my brain.
Ready for the wedding cost breakdown? No. Let's start with flowers. That's the cheapest thing, I assume. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> Fifteen thousand. Fifteen. I will literally go outside and pick flowers right now. Okay, how do you think the venue is? Well, now I don't freaking know. Thirty. Twenty. Oh. <laughs> Okay. No, not okay. Do you think the food is per person? We're having how many people? 200 to like 250 $50 a person? 250 <laughs> What? 250 times 250 It's 62500 No! 62 <laughs> Okay, and then we have the DJ. That's not included. Okay, that's... Five thousand. Are we having Diplo? <laughs> no. And then we have the cake. I'm not even gonna eat the cake. I'm gluten free. The cake can't be more than a thousand. Three thousand. Oh, times three. <laughs> Great. Extravagant. Don't forget. Don't forget. We have hair, makeup, my dress, your tux, our rings, the photographer, the videographer, the open bar. We have to tip everyone. How much do you think it's gonna be? My soul? Like 150 to 200. I could buy a house! I could buy two! Has anyone else ever realized how like, like all of school from like, ki like kindergarten to 12th grade, everything is just preparing for the next thing. And somehow they get it wrong every single time. That was scaring the shit out of me in elementary school just to get to middle school and realize they don't care as much. And then in middle school, they'd be saying that in high school, they're gonna care even more. And they don't. You know, I'd be in, I'd be in elementary school, you forget to put your last name on the name line, right? You're turning an assignment, you just wrote James. You didn't write your last name. <laughs> James Hill. James Hill. James Bond? Is that who it is? Cause I don't know, I don't know who's, I don't know who's the assignment this is cause you didn't put your last name. You know, in middle school, they're going to freaking shoot you if you don't put your last name. And then you get into middle school, and you turn in an assignment without your name, and they just go, hey, you forgot to put your name. And you go, oh, my bad. And you write it down right in front of them. But you know what they did care about in middle school? Some of the math teachers be caring too much about units, man. Answers like four square feet. You just put four. Four what? Four what? Four jelly beans? Four gummy bears? Because I don't really know what we're talking about here. You know, if you do this in high school... Your parents are going to get divorced. So. Every single warning was for nothing. I don't know if times have changed. Maybe these teachers actually did go through some crazy shit if they didn't put their last name or something. But all I know is that nothing ever happened. Okay? All the warnings were false. They're here. I still can't <laughs> believe we're doing this. We got in the house this week, <laughs> Shelby. We have, like, one piece of furniture. Two if you're counting. <laughs> you just need a place to see it. We hardly have that. That's what you <laughs> He gets it. <laughs> they know about as much about this house that I do. <laughs> they're probably gonna ask me where the bathroom is and I'm not gonna be able to tell them where it is. <laughs> and now they're probably standing out there waiting on us to come to the door. <laughs> Let him in. <laughs> Hello! This is beautiful. Oh, thank thank you. you. I just have one question. Can I use your facilities? Like the restroom? I, got, I had like a coffee and a water. <laughs> I thought you never asked. There's somewhere around here. Come on. And this is the... Kitchen. <laughs> sure. This is where we keep snacks. That's my favorite cabinet. I love snacks. And you got some dip in there. Speaking of dip, I need the facilities. What's that have to do with dip? I need to oh, well, it doesn't matter. This way, this way. <laughs> First door on the right. Did I embarrass myself? <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing at all. You can't act like you don't know nothing. How am I supposed to fake it till I make it? If I don't even know how to make it around this house. Just, <laughs> that's the first time I found out that that's actually a snack cabinet. I'm just gonna keep on winging it. Do you feel like a new woman? I feel like a new, brand new woman. Let's go to the... The nursery. The nursery. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dylan, this way. This is where baby things happen. No, his name's Kim. You think this is cool? <laughs> you should see the garage. Come on. I love this. I know where this place is. It's my favorite room in the house. The man cave. <laughs> no women allowed. <laughs> Except for y'all. Except for y'all. Oh. <laughs> this is so cute. It's so vintage. 
Yeah. That's what I was going for. Hey, what? I haven't even been What's in that bathroom yet. Can you get to the top floor? I saw your window. Oh, the attic. It's the attic. I think. This is the backyard. Like this in Dallas, Taylor. They so don't cool. have backyards in Dallas, <laughs> Texas, and everything's bigger there. <laughs> Lies. I didn't even know we had Christmas trees. How do you think I did? <laughs> so when we're talking about genre, it's not exactly what we think of, right? It's not just Western or romance. Um, there are other sub-genres. So th there's a... Uh, this is spec on talk about Central. themes. We're talking about, about the author's intention, right? But what the author is not actually saying outright, right? Teach, I don't know if you quite erased fully that last sentence that you were over there. Guys, we gotta be paying attention. Think about what I'm saying, okay? It feels like you're trying to purposely miss okay. the words. Fine. And then next week we're gonna talk about the thirties and we're gonna move ah! into the spec. <laughs> Teach how the hell am I supposed to focus with that speck going on over there? Focus. Okay. We're gonna be having a quiz on Tuesday. What the you hell was that? You can, can write that down. What? Oh, it scans as a QR code. That's actually pretty sick. No way. Hang on, I gotta calibrate it. Does he think he's using a smart board? Maybe. So I'm officially the world's worst hunter with negative one kills. Say hello to Pan Fry, everybody. He's my buddy. He's my friend. Yeah, aren't you, buddy? Aren't you? Oh, yes. He, I don't think he went to school nowhere. If he went to school, he didn't learn nothing. That's how he made a two. You want to see how he made a two? This is how he made two. I had to draw a two over the top of it. And I showed him what a two looks like. I'm going to keep a big old two right here in this book. A big old two so he can remember what a two looks like. A big old two. I hear you, boy. Two of them. You better realize who feeds you. Where did he go to school? I don't know. If he went to school, all he did is play. He didn't learn nothing. I did do a lot of playing in school. You didn't listen to your teachers, did you? Yeah. I did. I think you're I just played a lot too, though. I think you're telling a story. Oh, I've played a lot. Ask my teachers. <laughs> I'm a seer at church. I'll ask her. I'll see her at church. Oh. What do you call a dog with no fur? Chili bean potatoes. <laughs> Man, what chili bean potatoes? Yeah, uh, I kind of, yeah. I kind of, I get it. You get it? Yeah. yeah. Explain it. Uh, chili bean potatoes. The dog skin, this skin skinless with chili. Uh. Would you add potatoes out? Dog chili. The dog skinless. And he eat the chili with the potatoes. Right? Dogs. Mm. Mm. Dog chili. Skinless dog with, with chili. So the dog ain't got no hair. And you eat him with chili. And potatoes. Dog, you said a skinless dog is a chili dog potato. What'd you say? Skinless dog is a chili. Yeah, that's right. Chili. Right? No, I wasn't supposed to make sense. Hey, you try. <laughs> I'm trying to have a nice date on the beach. I brought a bunch of nice snacks. And my girlfriend's over there practicing 
or sand walking. No worms here, baby. How bad is it, Doc? You're all fuzzy wuzzy inside. <laughs> You know that once you've read the dictionary, every other book is just a remix. <laughs> That's hilarious. Maisie, is this yeah. the is this the plan for today? <laughs> I'm Herkle Durkling. <laughs> What's Herkle Durkling? Well, Herkle Durkle is a Scottish word that's rarely used now. That means to lie in bed when one is supposed to be up and about. So some of the health benefits to Herkle Durkling is um, it can for one it can help you um, lower chance of or recover from burnout where you overwork yourself so much that you just like collapse brain collapse we definitely can't have your brain collapsing <laughs> when you overwork yourself you get really tired and anxious and everything I'm being healthy <laughs> Well, it's Saturday. It is Saturday, and it's raining. Yeah. My watch just told me to stand up for a minute. <laughs> Someone needs to go out there and, and find Bruno Mars, fall in love with him, and break his heart. Alexa, stop. All right. Mr. Bruno, Mr. Mars. Can you please, can you please quit processing your music so much? Go sit down at a damn piano, take a microphone, and just sing with the piano. That's all we want. That's all we want. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Say, baby, but it feels just a little bit big enough. Bruno, where are you at? Come back. I song on the radio, but it don't sound the same. <clears throat> Alexa, stop. When our friends talk about you, all he does is just tear me down. Bruno, please. Please come back. Please. I saw a video of one of those things, one of the hydraulic oh, presses. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they put a tooth on it. Bro, teeth? Teeth, brother. They're... <laughs> teeth. Teeth, brother. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was. You sound like sketch there. Teeth, brother. <laughs> the reason why I brought that up is because there was like a tooth in the machine, and then it was pressing it, mm. and it was showing how much force you needed to crush a tooth. Mm. It's a lot. Yeah. What are you doing? You're like, yeah. Why does that make you aroused? I'm not aroused. I'm not aroused. <laughs> it just... sounded arousal. No, 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 no. There was no arousal. It was okay. Like, yeah. 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 That. That's exactly what no, I'm talking arousal about. Arousal would be like. Yeah. That's what you. No, how is that right. different? I'm wondering whoever moves has to take out the trash. I kill you. <laughs> I kill you. You are that man. No, I'm not. <laughs> Just put it down, Wanda. I take you outside with the trash. <laughs> no, put it down. Take out the trash. <laughs> so I'm really trying to understand this sign yeah so it could mean just like don't open the window because there are mosquitoes but it could also mean mosquitoes are not allowed or it could be actually for the mosquitoes that come and see the sign and they're like no man we are not allowed here or it could be like careful Attention, you should not bring your own mosquitoes. You are not allowed to bring mosquitoes. The mother's gone mad. She won't stop meditating. She's going through a midlife crisis. Midlife? Sure, she's nearly dead. True. Why can't she just be normal and get like a tattoo or something? Tattoos are shit. Why have tattoos? Yeah, and your arms are like the cubicle walls on a school toilet. Hey! What are you doing, Magella? I'm reflecting. Oh my God, she thinks she's a mirror. Meditation keeps the mind at peace. It protects your head from everything external. I don't give a goddamn how famous I am or whatever. It don't matter to me because I'm about dead anyway, so what do I give a shit? What in the hell do I care? I don't. If nobody can't take me like I am, make me Um, it's definitely a haircut. 
Um, I think it looks good. A little long in the back. <laughs> in the front too, but <laughs> I think it looks good. <laughs> <coughs> hey, dude, honestly, like, I think your hair looks good. I <laughs> Roll think... tide. Roll, Roll tide. <laughs> uh, honestly, when I grew up in the farm, we all had our hair cuts like that. That's gonna be a shame. <laughs> Anyways, it's not the worst. Word association, go. Holiday. Boys. <laughs> Boys? Word association, go cedar. Boys. <laughs> Three, two, one. Word association. Girl. Did you was that it? <laughs> Give me one more. Boys. Go, go, go. Alright. Are you ready? Yep. Uh five. Four. Three. Three. Two. two. <laughs> go, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm fucking. Okay. Just go, go. Chalkboard. Flesh. <laughs> Mortar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to you. Ready? One, two, three, French. Jorts. <laughs> Word association. Maple. Bagreen. <laughs> I think I said Bagreen. White. Teen. And what did you accomplish this morning? That's for you. It's 7 a.m. I just got yeah, up. I renewed my passport. I have ordered a new set of knives. I've registered for the next um, voting. What about you? Um, yeah, that's right. Is that it? Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Helping yourself? Did you ask? <laughs> now what? <laughs> this? I got the cup. What is it? No, you be nice to that kitty cat. You're not going to get ready if you're being ugly to the kitty. What? Uh oh. You got some of your cup. That's enough. You're being greedy. That's enough. We're going to Booga Booga Yo Yo Boo 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 Boogie 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 Yeah Boogie Yo Exactly <laughs> Now this is epic. Who is your dream guest on your podcast? <laughs> dream guest on my podcast? Huh. Oh gosh, I don't know. Honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. <laughs> okay, Terry, I want to see you walk fast. What's your fast movement? What's the Terry fast movement? Okay. That's, uh, are you stretching? Oh, stretching. And up and go. And ready, set, go oh my god that's the weirdest thing i've ever seen in my whole life oh my god <laughs> i'm a bad mom mexican word of the day eclipse 
Make sure that when you put on your seatbelt, it clips. That's when you know it's fastened correctly. Drive safe, homie. Did anybody warn the Amish? They gotta be freaking out right now. Monday morning, two o'clock, you're turning butter. All of a sudden, boom, sun's gone. What do you think? No contact with the outside world. I don't know, somebody should really tell those guys. Myself and the mother are going head to head to see who can make my father age the quickest. Can I go now? Let me start the timer, wait. Don't say wait in front of your father, he gets self-conscious. Oh, she's already started. The woman is pumped up. So is your father's body. <laughs> hey! Mr. Inflatable, very overweightable. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> the woman has bars. Not chocolate ones now, Father. Don't get excited. <laughs> I won't get too excited looking at you, ugly woman. Ah, shut up, you crooked nose. You know your eyes and nose together look like the percentage sign. All right, look at the camera. Ah, dead. Open your eyes. <laughs> Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I'm you... so I'm you. I'm you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you closing your eyes? <laughs> Open them. I did. Try. I did. <laughs> that dog said <laughs> So I thought they were normal bubbles but they're not. It turns out that they've got the bubble band, yeah. they've got PPA glue in <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Nothing makes me madder than seeing a man drinking some sugary, whipped, blended bullshit out of a straw. When I go to a coffee shop, I tell the barista, give it to me raw. Put the beans right into my mouth. <laughs> Put the beans right into my mouth. I'll chew them up, grind them up myself. Pour boiling water into my mouth. Swish it around like mouthwash and swallow. I'm my own coffee pot. <laughs> I ain't had a glass of water since 2015 and I've forgotten the taste of sugar. You'll never see me at a bar ordering a margarita, a daiquiri, a pina colada. I drink rubbing alcohol and hand sanitizer out of a bucket. <laughs> I order myself a glass of gasoline on the rocks. I bathe in motor oil. I shower in the tears of my enemy. I never stop doing the Tide Pod Challenge because I'm a... Because <laughs> I'm a man. I don't know who these men think they are. Gentlemen, when you drink these Harry Potter sugary Dr. Seuss ass drinks, you tell the world what kind of man you are. So stop it right now. Do better. <laughs> And follow me. I'm pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Show me your completely useless secret talent. I'll give you a McChicken if you do it. Yes. <laughs> Silence! I'm Paul Mwadi Matrini! Dude, I'm a racket! <laughs> <laughs> Two, three.
bring it to the folks. There's a fire on this bill. Someone can help me put it out, please. What did you just do? They keep the glass very clean here, I guess, because I went through the walkway to get in here to help you out with the phone. And uh, it turns out there was a big pane of glass there. So you walked into the glass? I walked right in the glass. Um, I'm going to get air piercings on both sides of my ears. When I'm bored, I twiddle on my asshole has. I'm a wide receiver. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I'm going to go outside with my boys later to go and eat some food. It's going to be late. Is that okay? Mom, I'm the most trusted drug dealer in the area. I'm gonna go pick up some packs. I'm gonna distribute later. <laughs> Mom, I need to get some clothes and shoes. I don't have much in my closet. I need to upgrade. Mom, I'm spending every penny on designer clothes, designer shoes, designer hair, designer wigs. <laughs> Mom, I'm 18. I'm gonna go clubbing with my friends now. Is that okay? Mom, I'm a J bag. I'm going out with the mandem to go jeet girls in the club. I enjoy it. It's what I do in my spare time. Um, there's nothing in the fridge. I need to um, order some food home. Is that okay? Ordering the whole menu of KFC, McDonald's and Domino's. Mum, I'm wasting every single penny that I have. I'm not broke, but I will be from ordering food. Mum, I'm going to go get some braids. I need to get my hair redone. My closet, I have coke, crack, weed. I'm ready to sell and distribute to my whole neighbourhood. I'm a neighbourhood hero when it comes to drugs. Okay. I'm actually just the best. Like, they should call me someone who's good at... So I'm gonna go tell someone this is... Uh-oh. Come on! Uh-oh. Off. Don't worry. Thank you, Bibby. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Biffy. Hi, bro. Yo, thanks for the ride again. Got you, bro. What was your name again? I'm sorry. Oh, it was. Oh, shit. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Of course, bro. What's your name again? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know you were Chinese, bro. Yeah, bro. It's just alcohol. Yesterday, I picked my eight-year-old daughter up from school, and before she is even fully in the car, she goes, Mom, guess what? My teacher said that if you say yes, and the principal says yes, then salsa can be our class pet. 
if you're new here, Salsa is a 1,000 pound American quarter horse. So like not the most practical choice for a class pet. Of course, the immediate question that follows is, so is it okay with you? And in this moment, I really appreciate that the teacher passed the buck to both me and the principal because I know the principal has not yet been asked so I can continue that trend. And so I say, of course, if your principal says it's okay, of course she can be a class pet. That was the right answer. And I was told that I am the best mom ever. And she immediately starts trying to make a plan for how she is going to convince her principal that this is a good idea. And so she says, you know, I bet a lot of other kids would like that too. I should get a lot of other kids to ask her if Salsa can be the class pet. And instead we make her like a school pet. I'm willing to pass the buck on this one to the principal, but I really like her principal. And so in an attempt to help her out, I was like, you know, kiddo, when a lot of people want something, you don't typically all have them individually go to someone. You write like one letter and then have them all sign it. And that's called a petition. And this was the greatest idea she's ever heard of. So she immediately starts writing a letter that she is going to get all the kids in her school to sign advocating for her horse becoming the school pet. When I say organizing, what I need you to understand about Ellie Jo is that she has been, no joke, making to-do lists since she was three years old. So she is in second grade, but she reads and writes at a fifth grade level. So she was very literally, by the time we got home, writing a letter, drafting a letter to get everyone to sign, and then also had separate sheets of paper where she was making lists of all of her friends from after school in every grade and what class they were in. So she could go to them and then have them take little shorter versions of the letter back to their classes and have everyone in their classes sign it so that she could literally reach every kid at the school. So I pointed out too, you know, you're going to have to figure out the logistics of how this works. You can't just ask for something and not be able to explain how it's going to work to people. So she starts coming up with the sort of stall they could put outside her classroom. And if you made it movable, then it could move around the school. And what would, where would salsa go during recess? A big part of this plan involved me hauling the horse back and forth at the beginning and end of every week. And I'm just, again, I'm just letting this plan roll at this point because this is the principal's problem. This is no longer my issue. By the time bedtime rolls around, this is a full blown plan and I'm like forcing the kid to go to bed. And part of me is incredibly proud at the natural community organization that's happening here. Though I feel like that might backfire at some point for me as a parent. Like you want your kids to know how to organize, but like maybe after they move out of your house. But anyway, I'm also mildly concerned that some part of this is going to work and the principal is going to be like, yeah, you can bring the horse for a day and I'm gonna end up having to haul this freaking horse to school, but whatever. So I get her to go to bed. So we have succeeded for the day. For the moment, I'm still the greatest mom ever. But then this morning she gets up and walks out of her room and says, mom, I've been thinking about it and I don't think it's a good idea to bring salsa to school as a, a class or school pet. And I said, no, like why, what changed your mind? She said, well, I was thinking about it and you can't hide a horse in a closet. So I'll have no way to keep her safe in an active shooter situation. And I don't want her to die. So I think she probably needs to just stay at home. And then she went and put on her shoes and got her breakfast bar. And I just, <laughs> he looks like a four legged dog. Do you, Did you see he looks like a four-legged dog? <laughs> <laughs> he is a four-legged dog. You, want, you four -legged. want your dog to be a four-legged dog? <laughs> Good job, Winston, you're four-legged. <laughs> oh, all no. four legs. That's important. I didn't mean that. Listen, if you're single and you're, like, upset that you're single, just remember, someone in love is getting cheated on right now. Just let that sit. I'm in the drive to a Burger King. Can I please get a Papa Junior where iron rings? Make it a meal so I can get a drink. No, I'm not feeling this. Not everything. Can I please get a double waffle or no cheese? Can I please get a double? <laughs> can I please get a double two with a large drink? I got money so I don't care how much it costs me. So just throw in some extra fries or make them salty. All the cheese gonna make my booty drip drip. I'm not. What did that just say? All the cheese gonna make my booty trip trip. It's gonna make my booty trip trip. I'm not your six dollar in, I don't sip look. If I see a side of cheese, I'm a trip trip. I'm a sit on your toilet seat and do 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 So you got my little wobble junior, I didn't ever get that. And you got my double wobble, I didn't ever get that. What about Dude, my this is so stupid? Fill with me, I know this is slow trash. I guess it ain't rabbit nipples, why I eat this herd that better stop playing and just give me all of my food. You said I paid rain right now early to drive through. Give me the bag and then I took a bite of my food. This cheese in my mind or the voodoo. 
I'm gonna drive through a Burger King. Man, they can give me Dude, the hook is so hard! Shrek, what are you doing? I'm just playing the part, Fiona. Is that glitter on your lips? Mmm, cherry flavored. Want a taste? Ugh. What snack am I? Uh, <clears throat> oh, I love pretzels. I just had pretzels. Let's see what snack Merlin is. Hey, is it okay if I play some brown noise while I sleep? It helps me sleep better. Really? Yeah. Sure. Okay, perfect. Thanks. <sighs> Yeah, a tampon, but when you pull it out, it's grown into a dinosaur, like the ones you put in a glass of water. Sir, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I think that's a great idea. I do think it's a million dollar idea. However, the state I am in, in that moment, my most vulnerable moment when I'm changing my tampon, if I am really hoping for a brontosaurus and I pull out a T-Rex, like I get the wrong dinosaur, I might cry, I might throw up, I might commit murder, I might kick down the stall, I might do all four. It's a risk. It's a risk. I'm willing to take Show me your completely useless secret talent. Nummer 1, die Tiger. Nummer 2, ein Formel 1 Auto, was sehr knapp an mir vorbeifährt. Nummer 3, ein Dinosaurier. You don't care. <laughs> These rows of flames are good. What's the name of my first boyfriend? Mitch. <laughs> Who was your first boyfriend? <laughs> Michael. Oh my god, you did it for a day. <laughs> what was the name of my first girlfriend? Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Savannah. <laughs> Fifth grade, baby. <laughs> Who's my first kiss? Mitch. <laughs> oh, you're lucky. High school's mascot. Uh, warrior. <laughs> that was the way. High school. Oh, wait. You were the warriors. What were they? Lions. I thought we were the same. <laughs> what was my first major in college? Nursing. Mm. What was the name of my first dog? Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> What month was my dad born in? <laughs> what month was my grandpa born in? March. <laughs> I don't know. July. September. <laughs> what was the name on the back of my basketball shooting shirt? Bigfoot. <laughs> my eyes were open. Zach Efron. Yes. What event did I compete in in track and field? Jump, jump, scare. <laughs> jump, cross. <laughs> Belly shot. I want you to look me in my eye and tell me. Look me in my eye. Look, me and my eye. <laughs> Hello? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm just chilling, I'm just trying to find something, sorry. Yo, what is happening? It's the news, here, you can listen to it. Pause. Playback, 15 seconds. Play. New tonight. We have an update in the case of John Sakadorian, the 27-year-old Florida man, also known as the content creator and influencer, Hyphenates. Six months ago, he was arrested for breaking and entering along with wiretapping, and today has been found guilty of these charges. He's best known for his videos on YouTube and TikTok, where he scares strangers on a website called Omegle. 
Citizens say that his viral internet videos should have raised concerns to authorities. He's currently being held on house arrest with a one-year probation on internet access. Why, do you, do you, do you know him? Pause. Do you know him? I don't think so. Apparently he doesn't mingle content, he's on his website. I don't really watch a lot of YouTube. Actually, you know what? True. That's a, that's a mood. I don't, okay. Oh, hi. I don't know if it's just me, but I cannot stand the way that this, per this like, walkie-talkie pronounces the number 12. Listen to this. 12. 12! La baguette. Le croissant. Le glace! Le glace! Ain't my powder donuts! That was not me, dude. Dude, it, you, wasn't, buddy? it wasn't me, dude. You? Did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, another day, another dollar. <laughs> Kawhi, I need Advil. Don't worry, Clay, I got you. I see you, corner. Go get busy, 11. Apple Watch told me I gotta get my steps in. Hold on, peep the hezzy, though. At the back door live, KD. Always making the extra pass. And knock that down, Nick Nurse. Oh, yeah, I'm here, young fella. Dog, you're getting subbed out. The heck you talking about? No, no, no. I'm telling you, I'll go tear him up. I wonder what Mary Ann's making for dinner later. Oh, have mercy. Ain't no one safe around here. Come here, rap. Ah! Don't worry, y'all, I got it. Hey, we good, play on, boy. Oh, yeah, show him the vert. Boy, I tell you, give me too much space. Larry Bird. Oh, Mary Ann's not cooking? Praise the Lord. Hey, we going to McDonald's tonight, yeah, buddy? Man, stupid line. <laughs> that boy got some juice back there. Golly! I wish I could get the ball. Hey, hey, looky here. Oh, you could have it, Le King. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, big fella, you better get out the way, because it's your time! Yo, baby, make me some dinner. Make me, wait. <laughs> Put my cheeseburger in the oven. <laughs> what is Let's cook. Пусть моя собачка где-то дороже тебя. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Special teams, special plays. Special players. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? What's up, brother? What's up? How you doing? What's up, brother? What's going on, my guy? What's, What's up, brother? What's up, bro? How you doing? What's up, brother? What's up? What's up, brother? Check Tuesday. What's up, brother? What up? What's up, brother? 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 Tuesday. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Special teams, special players. What's up, brother? Tuesday, Tuesday. Sweetie? Amanda. Huh? Oh, oh, who are you? I'm Amanda. I'm six. Green papaya. Greenish papaya. But mine's bigger. Oh, I really cut it. Goldfi. Goldfi. <laughs> Sugar. Sugar. Extra buttery. Regular milk. All of the milk. Honey. <sighs> Honey. <clears throat> I didn't take the lid off. <sighs> Fresh goat. Fresh goat.
Oh. How does that even happen then? How does that even happen? Right, I don't need a cloth. Also, I just want to say we're almost five minutes into this episode and you haven't even brought up my sweater, dude. Well, I didn't want to. It's cool. That's the word we're going with? <laughs> it's warm. You look like just like a... Don't. What? I was going to say you look like a rejected fruit roll-up. First of all, I look like the good fruit roll-up. The tie-dye one? Yeah. yeah that shit the one that sick. has tattoos and you just be like... Uh. Hey guys, I have to go to the bathroom, so you do mind watching my boyfriend really quick? Thank you. Hey guys. So I have these chips here. And... Please help me. I've been kept hostage for three... What day is it? My watch said, don't let me charge it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know anyone, anywhere. Help me. Anyways. Have you guys ever heard of the word bosoms? I have. I think it's a normal word, normal vocab. But I just said it to her. And then she was like, <laughs> what? What? And she's never heard it before. Bosoms. I think it's kind of fun. Bosoms. Bosoms. You know, you know, you know. I know you guys know. But we're at this place. I'm trying to figure out this logo. Haley thinks it's someone twerking, but I don't really, I've been doing some research this whole time and I still don't know what's going on. What is this? What is that? I don't know. Anyways. Do you like the new haircut? I got it yesterday. I think it's kind of fun. A little mullet, a little mullity. Is this still like recording? It doesn't say it's very long. Oh, did I leave my chip in here? The ADHD is too much, you guys. It's windy. Really? And you didn't see it coming. Ooh. The dichotomy of it all. Right? The dichotomy of it all, bro. But then she just, I don't know, where started acting brand new. So it was just a big juxtaposition. Just a big, puras, puras juxtapositions con ella. You know? But what did I expect? You warned me, bro. I don't know, bro. I know you're used to this already, but I just I, I just feel ambivalent, you know? Like, I just feel like it's not diminutive. It's just not... Di you know what I mean by diminutive? You don't... You know what that means? Tell, what is diminutive? What are you talking about? And so now you're just going to believe everything that she said to you? Is that the utopia you want for us? Nah, I don't feel like you're being very equitable right now. Because she's over here maligning all the time, and there you are. Oh, bro. I don't know. I don't I. This is the epitome of not fair. If a refrigerator could walk, how would they walk? <laughs> if a rock could walk. <laughs> Okay, if, if scrambled eggs can walk, how would they walk? <laughs> if a waterfall could walk, <laughs> If baldness could walk, how would it walk? <laughs>
So let me get this straight. You think you can just throw that ass in a circle and I'm just supposed to be impressed? Throw that ass in a rhombus, okay? Let me see the booty get quadrilateral with it. Then I'll be impressed. Then I'll be like, parallelogram, more like parallel a day. Worst dad jokes of all time, go. Why did the Mexican take anti-anxiety medication? Why? For Hispanic attacks. <laughs> Fuck it out. <laughs> Two robbers were robbing a liquor store when one grabbed a bottle and said, Is this whiskey? The other says, Yeah, but not as whiskey as robbing a bank. <laughs> <laughs> I took a poll recently and I found out that 100% of people in the tent were upset. <laughs> <laughs> what did the carpenter say when he finished building his house? What? Nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> My dad got fired as a road worker for theft. Couldn't believe it, but when I got home, all the signs were there. I said to the waitress, can I ask you a question about the menu, please? Mm -hmm. She slapped me across the face and said, the men I please is no... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the men I please is of none of your damn business. <laughs> What's the difference between a piano, a tuna, and a bottle of glue? What? You can tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuna. And where does the glue come in? Yeah, people get stuck on that. King <laughs> <laughs>